Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing a recording of uh, my basketball uh, uh, Mania 5 draft. I've only done one so far, uh, and again, that means I'm about a thousand behind what most people are, have been doing. But, you know, I've been very busy, and this is going to be my attempt to make heads or tails of all of this. Now, again, I do think that, um, uh, that there is probably software that you could use that can simulate all this stuff and to automate your process and even automate it with respect to uh, uh, to stacking and things like that. That, But I guess that doesn't exist. We're going to do these things by hand. So what we're going to accomplish is this. So first of all, I've upgraded, I've updated my own personal rankings here, and it doesn't matter where you upgrade them from. So this is my rating right here. So the first couple of plays, I'm just going to go ahead and just pick best available and then kind of see how it kind of, spreads out but the concept here is is really to make sure that you have stacks for um for week 16 and 17 because those those are with the playoffs that's where all the money is made now yes you have to actually get to the playoffs to 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 uh have a chance but again this is old dfs con dfs theory it doesn't really matter to survive survive if you're going to get you have no chance to actually cash for the big money so you do have to plan for stacks um, so right now we're just going to be picking best available here. Um, uh, where is it? How do I just pick, how do I draft? Uh oh, this is not going to be fun if I can't go to draft. Is that where I have to, to go? Hmm. Well, this is no fun. So how do I draft? What do I pick the guide? And where would it be? What is go to draft? How about that? Go to draft. I guess this is better. Um, let's let's stop the screen share and let's actually get the right share in. Um, so this is where I guess where we're supposed to be. Maybe you can get it from here. Okay. Um, so again, these are my rankings, and and I'm just going to just completely just make best plays available for the first like three or four picks, and then we're just going to see what works. Um, and I don't think it's that important. And this is my own theory. I think it's more important to get a stack in week sixteen, seventeen than a good stack. Um, because you, you you are looking for low ownership in, in addition to upside, so yeah, if you want to find the real premium stacks, that that's great. But I think that it's important to get a good juicy stack of a low owned crappy team than you know a one just a one you know QB plus one receiver in you know in a good team. So uh, that's just going to be my philosophy. But from now, but first, let's just. Let's just get the um let's just get the players here. And here's my draft over here. So I do just have Bijan. Now, all else being equal, I'm probably not going to pick two running backs to start off with. Um, it's gonna be interesting if someone takes Debo and say Olave, will I go for a second running back? Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. So I can take Debo and we'll draft him. I figure out how to do that at least. Okay. So again, I'm really not even thinking about how these guys all go together yet. Um, I think that you know that's probably a big mistake to over over plan and and drop below your rankings just to make it you know make it work. All else being equal, I obviously I'd rather have a, a wide receiver, you know, or even tight end. Well, I'd rather have a wide receiver than a running back in general. I mean, I'm not worried too much about stacking yet, but again, so here's what you're thinking about. So San Fran. Um, you know, you might think about the quarterback over there once it gets there, but I, I don't think we're ready yet. You know, I, th I think we're just picking best plays for the first at least five, you know, at least five picks. Um, but you'll see also that, like, even based on my ratings, this is what seems to be a lot of people are doing is just kind of avoiding. Now, again, I took, I have Samuel after he took 
um, Ayuk, so that might m- make him mad a little bit, but I don't care. So I m- might not use Samuel as part of my stack. You know, he might be my one-off. We're just going to have to see. Uh, again, I'm not too worried about, about draft construction, lineup construction, or anything like that for at least five picks. And then I think you fill in your stacks after that. That's gonna at least that's gonna be my philosophy. Um, now, just so you know, I'll shout these guys out. I'm using the 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 um, the lineup rankings from Football Guys. I subscribe to them along with a lot of other places. So this is Football Guys. Oh, actually, I couldn't quite share that. And again, I, I'd like to, um, you know, avoid taking the second running back uh, before taking the wide receiver. And as always becomes the question of how far are you willing to compromise for that? You know, like I, I'll, I'll go, well, I go below. Well, this is still first available, right? So I mean, I'm getting a pretty good price, it seems, on my ranking of, of Travis Etienne. So if um if it's available, I'm just probably gonna have to take it. You know, I think that this is just too big of a gap between Etienne and, and say DJ Moore um for me to take a shot at this. Then again, DJ Moore is right here, and I don't know where the next receiver is gonna be coming to me. I don't I don't think we can pass on this one. So we're we're gonna take at Etienne. I just think that, again, we're just making best plays. But now we do have to probably have to prioritize a wide receiver um, when it comes to us. Now, again, I still don't – I don't like to just filter by position because I want to see what I'm giving up, you know, to get there. Um, so DJ Moore, I mean, if he's going to be available by the time it gets there, that's absolutely amazing. I don't think it's going to happen. Then there's Pickens. He could be good. Zay Flowers, T. Higgins, that could be good. Even Ibu Diggs, that could be a good play. See, he's already gone, uh, DJ Moore. So Pickens is the next big receiver that's like on my list. And to me, he's close enough where if he's available when I when he gets to me, I'm gonna have to take him. You know, even if these guys are available up here. And I'm not too. I this is maybe this is a mistake. I'm not too concerned with where everybody else is taking. You know, I'm, I'm not. I'm just building my own lineup. And yeah, you do have to beat this this satellite here, but I'm not worried too much about that. I could just go take Kelsey. I could, too, or I could take Trey McBride. That's probably a good idea. Um, this is like a real. Pretty stud wide, stud tight end this, uh, these days. So I might go for that if Pickens isn't available. But I think I'd have to put a, a, a wide receiver on the board here. So there's a couple before me. So I am kind of rooting for Pickens to be a bit be available, and he still is. I guess these are part of the sweats. So Pickens, we're still rooting on him. And I'm also not worried too much about buys or anything like that. But these guys are both by week 12. And I'll worry about that later. Oh, Pickens is gone. All right, well, that's annoying. So um, probably should just go for T. Higgins. Um, he's he's by week 12. Am I asking for too much uh, too much pain to do that? Yeah, so let's let's go for it. let's take Trey McBride. We'll get a tight end here, pretty good tight end as a matter of fact. And so we've gone through four players. Okay, um, I really think already in the fifth one we have to worry about buys a little bit. So I think that um, well, we're going to eventually have to pick a running back. That's well, to we don't have to pick a running back that doesn't doesn't have buy in week twelve, but that would help. So we want to pick a wide receiver next, I think. 
and we have to kind of really prioritize one. So any wide receiver that does not have a buy in week 12 would be very appreciative. So these are these are the wide receivers listed. Um, and this is with no – this is with all of them. So, again, it would be nice to get Chris Godwin, for example. Next best receiver on the board. Who's the next one after that? Uh, then Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk could be interesting because you know what? If I did he disappear? Uh, I was going to say I could move him. I could stack him with with Etienne, and that would make a lot of sense actually. Um, so it looks like Godwin is probably. I mean, I hope to. I hope he's still around when I when it gets here. Um. Keenan Allen, Terry McLaurin. I mean, all these guys look pretty good. Yeah, God, God, Godwin would be very, very helpful if he were available. Good. DeAndre Hopkins, way down the list there, huh? Very surprising. All right, Godwin's still available. He's already got four wide receivers, so I doubt he's going to go take him. He might take him, but we'll see. I definitely want him, though. Yep, so let's do it. So he took Josh Jacobs, so we'll go with Chris Godwin. And here we go. So now we have five guys, and now we have to start thinking about more about construction here. Um, we have two buys in week 11, two buys in week 12. So all else being equal, you probably want to avoid those if you can. Um, it's really just killing yourself for real in a full week. Um, so again, we're going to go back into best plays here and, and see what's a what. So James Cook made it 36. I mean, that's, well, he's just gone. Um, you know, this is a pretty good running back here. 40, you know, I have him make 44th and by in week 10, which is good. I'm not even beginning to worry about quarterbacks yet. So Kenneth Walker looks to be my my, my the next on my list. He's, he fits the the buy category, and I and he's just the, the highest rated kind of buy a lot. Like if I'm going to the next receiver, it would be Hollywood Brown or Jaden Reed. That could be interesting actually, and that's a buy week ten. That's actually not bad. Or we could go for DeAndre Hopkins, or we could go James Conner and work on this Arizona stack, maybe. Am I greedy? Is James Conner maybe going to be available still when it gets there? That's interesting. So it looks like it's going to be either Kenneth Walker, and then we have to start worrying about stacks, or we could go James Conner and know where we're going. I have a feeling James Conner can be, be available anyway if I wait on him. So I think we're going to gamble here, and we are going to go Kenneth Walker if he's available. Um, otherwise, we're going to really have to think. I hope they don't take him. Otherwise, I probably will have to go to Conner. I think I could get away with waiting because Conner's ADP is, like, really far down. Um, oh, he took Kenneth Walker. You dirty rat. Um, so if I go all the way down to Connor, that's 19 away from, from Kamara, but it doesn't look like there's any receivers I'm kind of can get here. So we're going to take a shot. We are going to go for, for James Connor. Oops. Uh Oh, where'd he go? Connor draft. Oh, ah, gotta be quick. So now we have a problem. <laughs> Damn, I'm just I'm just not so fast with this. Uh, so I did want Connor. I might be able to get him anyway, though. Right? And that's a fourth running back, which is a little a little fishy. With only two receivers, but I think it's okay. And then we'll end up. We can get. We probably get this. The Arizona quarterback, whoever that is, later. 
I don't even know who it is. Is it still, is it Kyler Murray? Even? It's Trey Benson. Maybe we could just at the quarterback, I suppose. See, what do I know? I thought Kyler Murray was still the quarterback. No, he's fine. I don't know what the problem is. So I could still get I can Kyler Murray whenever. And no one's taking him. I, I already have the two guys. Actually, I don't. I have to get Connor first. And then hope that my receivers is kind of I all I have is Debo and Godwin. I could probably find some decent receivers, right? So I'm really playing for this for this stack here. I play Connor. I'll end up playing with 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 Kyler Murray. And then we're gonna fill in. I think that's the idea here. That was a man, man. I wish I would have taken Connor then, but I would have to use him now. Or maybe, maybe I don't need more than um than McBride. You know, maybe maybe I don't. Maybe maybe I could just but Connor's rated highly too. This this one's a, probably a pretty good one off though. This Jackson Smith Nigba. I just have a feeling that Connor's going to be gone if I don't take him shortly. So if I take Connor, then hope that no, let's we 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 need a receiver more than we need Connor. I think. Um, let's just see. Maybe we maybe we maybe maybe we get lucky. So we'll play Jackson Smith. Uh, Nigma, and then we'll hope for Connor on the way back. I think that's the only thing that we can kind of do here. And again, we still don't have a quarter. I think we're going to be able to get Murray. You know, like who's, especially after we take Connor. I mean, who's who's going to take him? So then I think I can wait. It's a pretty big gamble to play that way, but I think it's fair. Should I should I make sure that that Tyler Murray is actually. I think this year. New target in form of Harrison. Okay. I'm sure Harrison's gone, right? He's not gone? Yeah, he's long left. So we'll play Murray, Connor, and and McBride. And so uh, you know, we better take Murray because I think somebody is going to take Harrison. I mean, I mean, someone's going to take uh, what's his name, Murray. Oh, somebody did already. Yeah, they took him. So now we don't have to play Connor if we don't want to. Because we don't really have anybody to stack him with anyway. And is he gone anyway? The Connor, yeah, Connor just disappeared. Okay. So now we're back looking for, I guess, another wide receiver, right? Um, or a tight end before we figure out how to actually stack this stuff. We already have, we have a couple of options here. We could just go for the best wide receiver available. That would be Grand Cooks. Then we could probably get Prescott. Now, we could probably do that. So why don't we do that? We'll go 12 seconds. Or we can go lock it. Let's do that. Okay. So now we can play lock it, Jackson, Smith, and Jigba. And then we can get the Seattle quarterback if we want to. That would be Mr. Geno Smith. So we'll take Jackson Smith, Lockett, Geno Smith. 
Um, is it time to pick him? I mean, do we have to? I mean, there's no way anybody's taking him, right? I mean, if I have both Lockett and Smith, you'd have to think that people would kind of let me take him, right? Who's going to take him right? Just him and what's his name? No, I forgot his name. It's DJ. Uh, I forget. Um, Joe Burrow is still available. So we don't have any quarterbacks. Is it time? I mean, I think so. We play Geno Smith, and that's for our upside. That's for our stack, right? Let's just make sure. Let's let's see what's available here. Is Prescott, Burrow, Purdy? So I could play Purdy actually if I want. I could play Purdy with Samuel. Or, and I could do both, and then I could do Geno Smith. So we could double stack. I think it's actually a good idea. So we'll go Purdy next. Oh, everybody seems to be taking the quarterbacks now. And then we'll go Geno Smith. But we can wait on that because no one, we'll, we'll go Purdy. Okay. And then we have to see what what's what we need to do, right? So first of all, we have we have big buy issues. Like all the running backs like are out in week twelve. <laughs> so we have to play we have to get a running back with no week twelve. We have to buy uh what some wide receivers that don't that aren't screwed in week ten. So we, we got we gotta build this up a little bit before we worry about picking up uh Geno Smith, I think. Let's let's just take a look. Let let's take a look at some running backs here for a second. Austin Eckler, it's not bad. It's a good. Uh, it's a decent ranking. He's Devin Singletary, Javante Williams. That could get there week one. We could go Zach Carbonet. That's pretty cool. If we could be really just over, just just jam all these Seattle guys, that'd be pretty sick if we can get away with it. Chase Brown, he's not bad. Why don't we worry about him? Chase Brown, week 12, they had the rankings like really poor. So I think we can do Austin Eckler as a running back for week 14. We've got to fill this out a little bit. So let's do that. Austin Eckler. Week 14. Okay, good. And then we need a, a wide receiver. we got to get another running back, by the way. That's no week 14. We need a wide receiver that's not screwed in week 10. We got to pick up Geno Smith eventually. Darnell Mooney's not terrible. Mike Williams for the Jets. Jerry Judy for Cleveland. That's week 10 as well. Oh, my God. Darnell Mooney with a better system. That's not bad. I think that's actually pretty good. Well, how about Jahan Dotson? Is it time for him to finally explode? So now we get a couple of Washingtons. This is pretty, that's, I think that's pretty intriguing, actually. Yeah, we take Jahan Dodson at wide receiver or Jerry Judy, one of these two. Yeah, but Jerry Judy, he's got the 10. That's the problem. Yeah, so let's 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 use if we can get there. Gabe Davis. Ooh, we can play Gabe Davis along with Travis Etienne. I think this works actually. That's what we're gonna try. Oh, did he just appear? Oh, you suck. 
Oh, that's annoying. I thought I came up with something there. So we could do Jahan Dotson again to just keep with my uh, what's his name stack. So Jahan Dotson will go with uh, Austin Eckler. Or we could just go Jerry Judy. He's probably the better play, but this number he's got the ten hole as far as the, the ten buy. So yeah, I'm hoping that that either him or or Quentin Mims is available. One of these two, or Marvin Mims. And I think we should probably do Jahan Dotson because of the stacking. So let's do that, Jahan Dotson. Now we have to probably take that quarterback. We we'll probably have to take Geno Smith. And we need another tight end as well. A tight end that's better to not be in week 11. Let's see. Any good tight ends here? Yeah, what's, what's wrong with Hawkinson? Wait, is this – what happened to him? What, what? Why is he so poorly rated? I, I don't know. Oh, unable to perform list. Huh? I, I don't understand that. What's 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 going on here? Okay. So what tight ends are there there? Schultz? All these guys are good. I don't know what the problem is. You know what? So I'll get I'll get somebody later then. What's wrong with TJ Hawkinson? I haven't even looked it up. I can, I can rely on my rating here. He's rated 120th, but he's like the next best rated guy overall. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I don't, or or Jerry Judy. I mean, any of these guys work for me. And Jerry Judy's probably a strong play. I'm missing receivers, but that's week 10. That's a third in week 10. And that's going to be – I'm going to have to play Hawkinson. I, I don't understand that at all. So well, I, I guess uh, my lack of, uh, of knowledge is going to come back to get me there. But we'll play Hawkinson if it gets there. And then we'll grab a quarterback. Yeah, let's grab Hawkinson. Physically unable to perform list. Um, okay, well, fine. Um, and then I guess we'll play. I didn't get the Jerry Judy. I could still get Jerry Judy. G no one's taking Geno Smith, right? That's the story. So I could play. I could play Mayfield with Godwin. Or I could play Geno Smith with all those guys. It's got to be Geno Smith. With these two has to be. And oh, DJ Metcalf was the guy's name. And God forbid DJ Metcalf goes down, then I'm a real genius. So we're going to try it. So it's going to be Geno Smith, a quarterback. It's embarrassing to say, I don't even know how many positions you get. So, so I have four running backs, five wide receivers, two tight ends. We'll pick another quarterback and then just then just pick a bunch of wide receivers, I guess, and look for, for buy fill ins and things like that. Six picks away, and I'm waiting on who did I say? I'm waiting on Geno Smith and then then a next best player, I guess. Let's see if we get a big drop off. Anybody now? Like all see all the quarterbacks are going. Darnell Mooney is is uh it's a receiver week 12, it just disappeared. Okay. Let's play Aaron Rodgers. Deshaun Watson. I guess what's his name already disappeared, right? The uh Marvin Mims, that's not the worst. He's still young. I, I still don't think that anybody's taking Geno Smith, right? I think Marvin Mims is the idea here. 
It's week 14. I need someone who well, there's Jahan Dotson. But that's fine. Yeah, I think that this is the deal. We take we take Marvin Mims now. And then and then we could then we'll go play. Geno Smith, and then we'll fill stuff in. Like unless something really, really, you know, something stands out. But look, look at all this. I mean, oh yeah, Adam Thielen, Quentin Johnson, those are the two best availables. And we're already we're on pick what? Uh what we're already on pick 150, right? So I'm not getting any great value here, it looks like. So might as well fill in, make sure I get my stacks. Get my Geno Smith. I presume that I can still get him right. Yeah, no one's taking Geno Smith. So I could take Bo Nix. So go with Marvin Mims. But it's more important to make sure I get the Geno Smith, I think. What's going to be interesting is people that actually know what they're doing, like watching this video. And they're, oh, my God. How, how easy is best ball if this is what people who are allegedly smart <laughs> – that would be me. Uh, no, are trying to do here again. This is this is best I can do right now. I don't have good tools or good software or anything like that. I'm just kind of just doing this by instinct and rankings, I guess. So again, so it's gonna be Geno Smith next, and then I have, why not Bo Nix to go with Marvin Mims? You're supposed to take three quarterbacks. I think I need a, another tight end before I do that. So we're gonna play. Uh, Pick 163. Hey, look at that. Perfect. 163. Okay, Geno Smith. And then I guess another running back couldn't hurt. That's not week 12. I guess. I guess we're just at best available at this point. With any luck. That does not have – now, again, I'm not good enough to go all, you know – I mean, if I went down the list here, I mean, I could find guys that maybe I like or whatever, but I think I should probably just stick with my rankings at this point. Now, I could go Mayfield to go with Tyler Lockett if I want. That's interesting. Who's a – who's a – we have anybody that can do anything here? Uh, Michael Wilson? To go with McBride, it's not terrible. What else do we have? What else is on this list here? Tight end, we have Tyler Conklin with no upside. You could, we could, I could do Kate Otten <laughs> and then play Mayfield if I want. I mean, I, oh, did Mayfield go? Oh, Mayfield went. Okay, so then that's just not what I'm going to do. So there you go. Very easy. I could play Knicks. Otten's oh, just the best. How about Wondell Robinson? Nah, I guess not. No offense as a tight end. Week 10. Yeah, that's actually not bad. I think that's probably the idea. And that's like a third Seahawk. Oh, I'm down with this. So th this is this is my 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 road to victory. It's just a full on Seattle onslaught.
So we could try another quarterback to go with the uh, – no, Mayfield's gone. Have these. Uh, I could play Bo Nix, quarterback, to go with the Denver guy. I think that's, that's reasonable, no? Uh, let's try it. Another quarterback? Three quarterbacks? Is that is that bad? Are we going to try it? He might not even play, right? Not for a while? Let's see for Bo Nix. Part of three-way job battle? Well, what, what if uh, What if he gets there? Keaton Mitchell, no. Clyde Edwards Soler, no. Bryce Young, no. Elijah Mitchell, no. Russell Wilson, no. Rondale Moore, better, better, uh, better offense in Atlanta, maybe. He just that was it. Oh, that's by week twelve. Too many buys week twelve. Could try Bo Nix. Elijah Mitchell, week nine again. That's interesting. So I have 30 seconds, right? So not gonna do I do could do Clark to 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 Kamara. That's possible. You know what? We'll go run down more. Better offense worth a shot, I guess. Good. And it's a good um a good bye week, just a couple in week 14. So we see the theme here, right? We sit. We, it's it's northern Cal. It's no Cal. It's San Francisco and Seattle. We actually do have Bijan alongside of uh, Rondell Moore, which is interesting. Is there any anybody like worth playing here? Aside from just like just you know. Sharpening up the stacks here. Derek, I mean, nobody's rated high or anything like that. So, I mean, who, who am I playing here? Felice Raymond, is that his time for him? Zay Jones, another Arizona guy. I guess I'll try Bo Nix just in case. I don't know. Uh, Bo Nix to Marvin Mims, just for funsies. Probably should just go Derek Carr, right? May as well. Him to Kamara. That, that can't be that bad, right? All right let's do that. I don't even know how many players I have. So we have 17 players. I think I get one more, right? So we have three quarterbacks, three tight ends, seven wide receivers. I guess I guess we should just take the best running back available. This guy's been hanging around here. Pete Mitchell for a while. Alexander Madison, if Josh Jacobs goes down, no. Roshan Johnson, it's not terrible. Tank Bigsby, if if Etienne goes down, no. Maybe Keaton Mitchell. Maybe he like just takes over the running backs. He's got a week fourteen. Someone's got to someone's got to do something in week twelve, which is going to be hard. Clyde Edwards Solaire, really? This is the deal. What's the what's the what's the advantage? managing an illness? Care. Uh, I guess Keaton Mitchell. I mean, just in case it's time. I don't know. Yeah, we'll try it. I guess Keaton Mitchell.
that it? Well, let's see what we have here. We have, we'll look at the projections, I guess, later. I got to look at the whole draft eventually, right? So, okay, so five running backs, seven wide receivers. So I guess maybe we'll just take another wide receiver next if there's we have any players left, which is kind of embarrassing to not know this. So for those of you that are watching this for the first time, and this is uh, expecting to see some expert best ball content, I'm sorry to have failed you, but this is just more voyeurism, right? You, if you want to see what I do, this is this is my attempt to build best ball teams. And again, this is my second. This is a max of like 150. There's no way I'm going to get through that. But oh, okay. So here we go. So let's uh, want to take a look. Let's take a look at this. Uh, oops, completed draft. Select a slate. Okay, let's look at uh, this one. This one's got 2,978 projected points. Let's see, view the full draft. Where are the other players? Um, oh, let's look at the projected scores. His 3,000. 3,200, 2,748. Yeah, so I'm projected, I guess, in the middle of the pack here. Like, is 3,000 supposed to be any good? I don't know. Let's take a let's look, look, look at the other one I have. Um, This one I have, oh, this is the one I just did, 2,879. The one I did before was 2,978. So the last one I did was a little bit better. I would say better. Um, it's just far as, it's as far as projections go. Um, interestingly, in both of these, both of my drafts, I ended up with, um, Marvin Mims, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. Wow. That's interesting. Anyway, uh, I'll do more of these, uh, and, uh, maybe I'll get better at it.